We got Fox. Lucina. Jab starting off. Cat's gonna look for a lot of dancing blades. <laughs> There you go, dancing please. <laughs> I'm I'm horrible at commentating, man. <laughs> All right, so Chaos has actually been going Lucina here and there. He definitely uh two stocked me like twice. Yeah, he has like a <laughs> so like a big variety of characters like. You got Mario, Ness, Lucina, Bowser, yeah, everything like. I'm, I'm just wondering why, why he went um, Lucina versus uh, Fox. Though. Um, on Tuesday he went um, Lucina against uh, K. Charles Falco. Okay. And in Grand Finals he ended up getting the reset, and he won with all Lucina. So I think he figured that it's probably better with the spaces. All right. Oh, okay, okay. I can see where he's going with this. Oh my gosh, you got but that. he did not get the M2K <laughs> type of coverage. <laughs> and then he, he's he's uh he's really good at catching uh the illusion on the stage and everything with Lucina. All you need to do is throw out S smash. Uh, I have no clue. I think Spiron uses uh hold on. Yeah, he uses Yoshi. <laughs> All right, so pretty solid play from both of them. Um, I'm not really sure how uh. Lucina would approach this matchup, though, to be honest. Uh, I understand, like, the offstage matchup, but, like, yeah. the neutral? Like, what do you even do to Fox? Just forward B, I guess? <laughs> probably probably just wait till he approaches and try to space this if he can. It's interesting that they actually agreed on start of though. Because <laughs> if, alright, so if I was in Duke inside and I was versus Lucina, I would not want to go here. True. <laughs> like, I would want to, even in Final D would be better because you have the walls. Because <laughs> in this, any stage like this, he's going to want to go under, like catch you underneath the stage. Yeah. Oh, we're hype. Shoop and uh, Professor coming next week. Who? Shoop and Professor. They've uh, been here like forever. <laughs> nice. they, get, they get rocked by uh, school and college. Yeah, and <laughs> everybody's almost done. Um. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> he, he gave me the signs. Oh, all right. The gang signs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So just one good back air from Dugan is gonna end this, or up tilt, or up smash, or if he just blows on Lucina, <laughs> it's gonna be over. You know what I see? Uh, Chaos getting a lot. Up he's out of shield. Up he's out of shield. Yeah. He he he, he was getting that on Kitaro. Just seemingly to deal with that. Ooh, perfect wow. pivot up tilt. That's, that's, that's weird that up tilt actually uh, brings it off the edge, though. Him and Evil Villain got those perfect pivots like down pack. And I think they look so good with Fox, too. Yeah, and just waits for the up tilt to take a clean first game. Alright. Oh yeah, and you are going to be next with against Tokyo. So if everything goes well, these will all finish. This will go here, and then we'll be on track. <laughs> so he decides to go Battlefield. Yeah, I think this map, this map is in Fox's favor though, but I see why because Lucina can get um, nares on the platform, like short hop nares, and yeah. it, it covers a lot, like his rolls. And Sadly, he's going to figure out the unspoken rule of don't ever go battlefield against Dugan. <laughs> it really hurts. This is Dugan's favorite stage, and the only person who really does it all the time is freaking numbers. I Whereas, remember, like, let's go battlefield. I remember when, um, when you, we were at the other place, I took Nakat to battlefield. And this is when customs were on, and I almost beat him last game on Battlefield. Yeah. Things with customs, uh, you never know, because I technically I knocked out Dugan out of tournament once in customs. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Fraudulent DK. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know anything about DK other than up B timings. <laughs> yeah. All you needed.
<laughs> Imagine DK now with customs and uh, I already tried it. We do customs on Saturdays. Oh really? Yeah, we do customs on, customs off, and low tiers. Low tiers are a dollar though. And that's the first stock done by up to an up air. Look at that! It, lo it looks like he's, he's like so wave dashing. <laughs> in, on, especially on this stage, he's the most melee because he'll kill with three up airs. And he'll be like, left it? Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> melee two. All right, he's, he's starting to catch on to it that this that he just spams up the out of combos, which is a great combo breaker, but you can follow up with that. Yeah. It, it took me a bit to, to figure that out. Seems like Hungry takes a 2 0 against Bess. First, the winner between Steve and Spinook over there on the big screen. Good charge. Just wanted to get at least one stock. Let's get it. Oh. Gets it. We take those. <laughs> I don't think he's going to catch those running off stage stairs. Yeah. That's too risky. Oh no, the way he should have pushed his magic. Definitely uh, space out those 4Bs. Like pivot 4B and stuff like that. Like, yeah. That's usually where they hungry with plays in the match. He has a pretty good Lucina. Oh, he got instantly punished. I don't know. Dugan's another beast. <laughs> usually you don't get like instantly punished the minute you 4B. Dugan's like, yeah, back air. <laughs> Look at that. It's like he doesn't even miss a perfect pivot. Yeah, it, it, it's just very scary. Like you gotta see him to play Samus in low tiers. Oh wow, it's it's crazy. <sighs> so fast, dude. It was so <laughs> scary. I was just like, what, what is happening here? And I swear to God, he doesn't play Samus. And he just was like, oh, let me see if I can find a low tier. And just picked up Samus and just started doing weird things I've never seen in my life. <laughs> kind of do it. All right, Dugan takes it 2-0. All right, now we have Tokyo versus Angel Cortez.